All right, guys, welcome back. So today we are using the pontoon boat to remove a tree off of the lake here. We're on Crystal, and uh, this here is my hometown lake. Um, I got this call last winter when we had our ice, and they wanted to see if we could get it done in the time frame, but then it got warm enough that the ice wasn't safe to work on. So we had to call it off and I've been waiting all year for this job because it's going to be really fun whether it's on the ice or not. But um, we are going to, I got a little bit impatient and ended up seeing a used pontoon boat for sale and I thought that would be perfect to uh, speed line some branches down onto the, to the boat and then we can just take them to the boat dock and and chip it up there. So that's what we're gonna do today. Getting everything set up, boats in the water. Gonna have to get over there and get set up again, get the gear on, but this is super exciting. It's an overcast day, kind of cold, like 40 or so, maybe 50 at the high today and not very windy. So that's the other good thing. I need to get out here before it gets real windy. So hope you guys like it. If you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to like and uh, leave a comment. Here we go. But here we are heading to the job site. Got a five horsepower pushing it. That's all you need. to it we got the boat docked up we added on these four cedar trees those are going to come down as well but as you can see we're pretty close to this house and uh, the first lower ring here we're just going to stage it up we're just going to put it on the boat and take it over and then once i get up a lot higher then we can start speed lining we'll start speed lining over to the boat Uh, you want to tie me on that little short rope? I didn't bring it up with me. So, for this first lower ring, like I said, we're just going to open this up and load it up on the boat. It's probably going to take about two trips until I actually get the speed line. It's not going to be until I actually get up above those tops that I start really speed lining because I got to get these cedars out of the way as well. But, uh, little bit by little bit, man. Little that's bit by little bit, that's how we're going to do it. Yep. Yes. All right, so we're going to utilize a tip tie technique. I'm going to take this orange rope and get the GoPro Ugh. out of these cedars. We're going to tie it to the tip over here, cut it at the base, and then they're going to lower it down like that. Open up the hole real quick. I'm gonna leave it behind this branch so you guys have to take the butt out first. Okay. And then just cut it up as the butt comes down. File it as tall as you need. <sighs> All right, you guys are on the rope. I'm gonna let you guys take care of this one. Somebody hold the rope, somebody make the cut. Two seconds, Ryan. You're all good, I'm just, that's the next plan. Push it off. There you go, yep, push it off and then start blocking it. Beautiful. Yeah! All right, on you guys. There you go. 
Very good. Hold it, Dad. No. Okay. Don't let it down. Right. Heads up. nubs off on the side that makes it a lot easier if I need to rope anything. Now everything gets stuck. Now that we have a duck blind built. I gotta climb in it <laughs> to get to the back. I don't want to get wet. Hang on buddy, I'm coming. Alright, uh, we're back here. That's a little bit of brush, huh? over here oh there's the chip truck I'm just taking trips so so far oh there we go so far we have been just like handing the branches down at the base of the tree because there is just enough room to work there uh, and that's how we're gonna do the firewood as well but once we get up to the tippy tops we are gonna have the speed lines so stay with us here they're coming um, but right now it's just easier to get everything out of the way by uh, just handing it right down below us into that opening. So get ready. Here comes some speed lining very shortly. Super light. Especially up here in Michigan, the uh, the water is just so clean. You can see out there really far and really deep. Especially if you go out on the lake where it's deeper, you can see 15 feet down. Clear as day. Oh, it's just beautiful. I love being out here. Love what I do. You got it. Well, kind of. Hold on. Little nub. There you go. All yours. Getting there. We're at the tippy top now. I'm 
to get on slow with it. Yep. Good, because I'm on the other side of the rope. I'll tell you what, just swing it over and drop it on a boat would be nice. No. <laughs> That's more what I'm looking at. I gotta pick if it was a trailer, I would do that. That's a heavy one. That'll work. Perfect. Cold. Yeah, that's good. That's all I got right there. Oh yeah, as he's cutting, you're pulling. That's it, that's all I got. That's it. That's all I got. Right there. You ain't got any more. You're pulling. Go ahead. Good. Go ahead and start undercutting it. Right. One down. Put it down? Yeah. Alright. Even better. You sure you want to out there to Cut it right up on the boat. Yeah, there you go. Nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The moment you've all been waiting for, speed lining to the boat. Go ahead, Cody, get up. Get up in the air. Hey, here we go. We got a brake on it. the anchors weren't doing it so we're just gonna take these off themselves i tried the cinder block yeah i need more anchors that's all right cody or dad sorry take that branch off there you go all right well get that boat back here we're just gonna take them off themselves that i didn't think about it those anchors need to be like i need like four of them Two cinder blocks, yeah. All right, well, just gonna get that boat back over here. Yep. Darn it, we tried. Try it again. Yeah! That's what I'm talking about! Made it! The water slowed it down too. Heck yeah. All right, we got two ropes. We got a rig sling, two uh, tie line, tag line. Can I throw a quarter rifle on real quick? If you want, go ahead. It's not that heavy. Hey, Dad, get on the rope with him.
good. All right, you guys got it. We got it. That's a heavy one. Yeah, I know. Careful, very good. There you go, Cody, walk back to them. Just walk that butt back, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Beautiful. Yes. Down, 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 next time. Yeah, do a quarter wrap next time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was just working your muscles out. Yeah. No, it's fine. I, I wanted to do that so it doesn't go nuts. Yeah, yeah, all good. Sweet. Done here actually a lot quicker than I thought. I thought this was gonna take all day, and I think total we got like four or five hours even with taking lunch. So loading up the last of the brush, gonna get the rest of the firewood, take it over to the dock, and uh we're gonna dump it off. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like this video, and leave a comment, and uh stay tuned with us because I'm always coming up with some kind of crazy ideas or some kind of cool job. And again, I'm, uh, I'm working as hard as I can five, six days a week to uh, keep up with the tree company. So if I get behind on YouTube, that's the only reason why is because I'm out here actually cutting trees down. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, have a good day. There we go. We're leaving. Can't even see that tree over there. Right there's the house. Loaded up the last little bit of firewood on here. Beautiful day. Go out there and unload this wood, and that'll be it. Successful day. We like those. Very successful day. No one's hurt. Nothing's broken. So climb safe. Climb high. And do stuff you don't think you can do because you probably can.